Hey everybody, this is Josh from CollectionDX.com here with another review. This is the Super 7 Ultimate King of Diamond action figure. This is brought to you by Fun.com because when you think of satanic metal stars, you think of Fun.com. <laughs> but I got it there, it was in stock. Uh, and I love King Diamond. I love, I'm a, I'm a huge thrash metal fan from back in the day. And uh, I remember King Diamond as the singer for Merciful Fate. And then later on, um, uh, his own band, King Diamond. Uh, such classics as uh, No Presents for Christmas. And, uh, just, I love King Diamond, right? So I was pretty excited to see that this was uh, available to review. And we're gonna do a little unbox here. You can, uh, the ult this Ultimate's packaging is really nice. And even the cardboard, I don't wanna kinda screw up. But the, what's great about the Ultimates uh, is that they, uh, you know, put as much into the packaging as they do the figure, right? So even if you, even if you never open the damn thing, it's still gonna look great on your shelf. And this is no exception. Look at this, like, ah, oh, like the, the Baphomet skull with the pentagram and the upside down crosses. Like, this is incredibly nicely done and also note that there's like different textures here there's gloss and flat and here you got metallic uh it's really awesome and i believe this is a slip cover oh, yep ah there he is <laughs> so we'll we'll open this and we'll go into all the accessories but i mean geez right off the bat he looks amazing I'm so excited. I never thought that I would like, that this would be a thing, right? Like I know that they were kind of doing a lot of metal re reaction figures and you know, we've done some of those uh, Ghost and you know, Iron Maiden, whatever, but this is just phenomenal. And you can see he's in a little, little ch actual chain with some little, looks like it might be a little discombobulated in shipping, we'll have to figure that out. But yeah. King Diamond is a Danish heavy metal musician. As a vocalist, he is known for his extensive range and particularly uses a falsetto. He is the lead vocalist for both Merciful Fate and the eponymous King Diamond. Right. So we will uh, open this up and take a look. So for those of you who aren't cool, King Diamond is a uh, Danish uh, metal musician. Uh, I think his name is Kim something, Kim Peterson. Uh, originally a soccer player, if I remember correctly, and um, very influential um, artist. First band was called uh, Merciful Fate. Then uh, they were phenomenal, um, but they were just a bit before my time. I came in when he was a solo musician, just called King Diamond. King Diamond has always uh, unabashedly been a Satanist, and all the musics are about Satan. Um, and you know it's metal, so that's that's fine. So uh, you know, obviously we've got upside on crosses and pentagrams and all kinds of things. Anyway, metal musician, Satanist, falsetto vocals, very uh, influential in the metal industry, uh, and just super cool. Known for his corpse paint. Uh, it's kind of tough to do this on YouTube because I would love to put some King Diamond music in here, but of course I cannot. So. I don't know, look it up, right? This is a Super 7 Ultimates figure. It is the first Ultimates I've ever owned. And I gotta say, it's kind of phenomenal. Really fantastically done action figure. From the molding to the material quality to um, even like the, the ease of posing and uh, changing out hands and such. It's really great. So notice there's all these uh, chains at the top. You've got uh, two different necklaces, uh, an upside down cross and a pentagram. And then you also have these chains that are part of the cape. The cape is has a wire in there, so you can kind of pose it however you like. Give them the big, the big collar, which is kind of cool. Articulation, he's got a chest crunch, or ab crunch as you call it. Swivel waist. It seems only going to go... Oh, never mind. It's, there's a little catch to it. Arms have a, you know, nice joint there, swivel biceps, single jointed elbows, joint at the wrist, ball joint at the neck, uh, hips have uh, mo 
movement. <laughs> they, they just rotate, knees. Uh, it's a single joint, but there's actually two points of swivel, which is a little weird. You got one on the on the kneecap and then one on the, the shin. So that can get a little out of alignment kind of easily. So keep an eye on that. It'll look weird if you don't. Uh, and again, you have a swivel uh, and hinged foot. So, I mean, more articulation than old King here needs. The uh, chains get a little discombobulated pretty easily. So if you're doing posing or whatever, you want to just make sure you kind of give him a little, little tug to come back down the front like that. He's got these little fabric armbands and wrist bands. They're kind of loosely tied. So, you know, they may slip out of position. You might want to give a tug if you want to be a little tighter. So, right, so this is, you know, King Diamond makeup, but this actually comes with some variant heads. And, uh, give me a little pop. Make sure you don't lose your necklaces. All right, so this makeup is, um, the first Merciful Fate makeup. Uh, so it's kind of his, his first, cor it's called Corpse Paint, right? And there's an interesting history with King Diamond's makeup because, uh, he actually got, uh, sued, not sued, but basically Gene Simmons told him to cut it out, right? Uh, cause as he got this, the Gene Simmons thought that this was too close to kiss makeup. And, uh, so in the nineties he had to change it and make it a little more, uh, it was still black and white, but it was more abstract. Um, uh, but this is really the most iconic look that, that we know King Diamond for. Um, I think he, I think that Gene Simmons has come to an agreement or something at this point. I really don't know for sure, but I know that this, this clearly, since it's being sold, they must have some kind of arrangement where he's like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, there's also a cool, uh, if not slightly unsettling, um, paintless head. <laughs> kind of looks a little bit like Lemmy from Motorhead a bit, you know, um, a little, a little earrings. It's, it's still fun. I like it. It's just. Uh, you know, it's like when you saw a kiss unmasked for the first time, you were like, eh, I don't know if I like it. All right, so we're going to go with the, the head that I like the most is this one, because it is the coolest one. Uh, I'll have to say, though, I want more metal Ultimates figures. I, I was on the fence about this one, and then I got it from fun.com, and it's super killer, All right? All right, so there are a lot of accessories. There are a lot of hands. Uh, so accessories, let's see. This is a little nitpick of mine, you understand. So there's a couple of cool accessories. There's a, a, a skull with blood, like a sk blood chalice, and a, uh, like a, a goat skull or something, or an elk skull, I don't know. But there's no like uh, peg to hold these in a hand. So you really, if you didn't hold them, it's a really precarious balance. All right, so um, like I was saying about the hands, I put these, he's got the metal horns and uh, open hands. He's got two open, you know, oddly enough, he has one metal horn hand, but he's got two open hands. And like, you really have to kind of, you know, if you can, it doesn't really sit, right? You know, it's a little precarious. So it'd be cool if there was like either a hand devoted to holding one of these skulls or uh, a peg or something to make it go in. Minor quibble, right? So, you know, that's fine. He does have a couple of holding hands and he also comes with a um, mic stand. So let's get one of those holding hands in place. And they just, the hands go in so nice and easy, but then they don't, like, they're not going to fall out. And then you got the, the bone cross um, microphone. Doo, 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 doo. Come on, get in there. Hands are difficult. I can hands. There we go. Of course, I popped it out. I'll just ignore this. Right, okay. So here is the uh, microphone stand made out of bones. And it's got this little bendy wire that kind of rotates, but it doesn't, it just sort of terminates. There's no, so you can just kind of like tuck it in and make it look like it goes behind. It's nicely detailed. The bones seem to be appropriately sized. Uh, the, one of the things that he's kind of, is that there's no double joint in the elbow. So it's kind of like, 
that's as close as we're gonna get with the microphone. And even then, like he's gotta have a really bent arm. But it, it's fine, right? It's it's not a big deal. Uh, but it's nice, you know, it's cool. It's really well done. It's a nice accessory. Um, I like it. I like the figure a lot. <laughs> um, it's just something I didn't think it would ever exist, right? And and here it is. Uh, no, no problems with the quality, really, anywhere. Everything's really nicely done. I guess if I had only one um, concern is that the um, fabric is a little sloppy. Uh, you notice there's like a little piece of metal wire sticking out on the neck right there, if you can see it. Not a major deal, but then like you see some threads are kind of hanging out over here. Um, I mean, for a $60 figure, I think it should just be a little cleaner. There's a little, there's a little thread sticking out back there. So I guess keep that in mind if that's a concern to you. But I mean, it's a freaking King Diamond action figure, right? Like it's awesome. You know, and they have, there's a reaction, a few different reactions of King Diamond, I think, but this is the the ultimates. And I would, like I said, I would love to see more iconic metal characters, basically, in this format. I just realized that I had his wrong hand on and it's the wrong thumb. Oh, damn it. There we go. More natural now. But it just looks really great right looks really great i like it i'm super excited about it um so when you think of satanic metal singer action figures you should think of fun.com because <laughs> that's where this guy came from uh, yeah I, I know it sounds kind of intuitive but um that's where he came from and he's super cool and he shipped quick and uh He's freaking King Diamond, right? From merciful fate. So yes, thanks again to fun.com for the King Diamond Ultimates action figure from Super 7. Be sure to comment on the review, like, subscribe, Patreon. <laughs> you know the drill. Thanks, guys. Bye.